I came, stepped out of the hole up there, and took one half step left, started down, and that's when my harness stayed up there, and I came out of it. I had a brake hand here. The fall line is over here. Somehow when I came down, I came down at an angle like this, I held on to the brake hand, I turned from facing this direction, probably this way around, 180 degrees, landed here, flush, absolutely flush, packed slightly out the left side, the impact with the broken ribs and the broken traverse is on the right side here, which is why, and poof, air up into the air. Boom. Didn't hit my head, didn't, uh, and I could put my, I was actually more over here, because I was able to put my foot, the first movement I made was to put my foot up to here eventually. And I had gone through a fresh glove, uh, second degree burns that took uh, well over a month to, the, uh, to heal, plus a chunk out of there. And uh, I think I, what I did is I rode the brake hand all the way down, even though I wasn't in a harness, flipped the 180, and I ragdolled at the end. I remember thinking, can the ground come already? Ground already, please. <laughs> And then it was woof, and it was like air and pain went up into the air all at once. We didn't move for the longest, longest time because I didn't, you know, how many people, you know, they feel fine, they can move their feet, they can move their toes. I tested that, but the first time they move, their spinal cord is gone. And then, you know, I'm on blood thinners too, so I'm like, oh, internal injuries, right? And here, here I am, like four air miles from the dirt road and six hours from uh, the nearest reasonable hospital. And um, it was like, I, I didn't move for a good 10, 15 minutes and all. I said, I think I'm okay. And I did the move. I stood up. And before the last people came down, I started down the hill. In fact, I was the first one to make it down the hill. They were looking behind corners in the boulders thinking that I was, uh, you know, I'd fallen again and was unconscious somewhere in there. But uh, what happened is I started moving quickly enough that I hadn't stiffened up. Boy, I had uh, some spasms after that, some hematomas. Uh, the ribs didn't bother me that much until I tried to canyoneer two days later. <laughs> that was a smart one. <laughs> anyway, I'm a lucky, I'm very, very lucky. That's a good 10 degree angle, uh, 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 at least from the fall line that I came down, in which the fall line would have been right in the middle of that. Okay. Well, we're glad you're okay. Yeah. Were you, were you on a 